Thank you, Perry. And Gallison's resignation is having ripple effects throughout Rhode Island's political scene. And it could also have an effect on how lawmakers handle issues that affect you. Iowa to Sue's reporter Steph Machado explains why, live from the State House. Gallison's resignation comes at an inconvenient time as the committee he controlled was firming up the state budget. The Finance Committee chair is one of the most powerful people in the legislature. Raymond Gallison was at the helm of that panel, which works on the budget and presented to the full House. Lawmakers and Governor Raimondo's administration have been finalizing numbers this week to get that tax and spending plan finished. Now the finance chairman is out. This is a distraction, right? There's no doubt about that. It's, it's disappointing. It's a distraction. But people are depending on us to work together to get things done, and we just have to do that. Whoever they put in place is not going to have all of the information that's been collected over the last few months. Republican Representative Patty Morgan is on the Finance Committee. Earlier this session, she argued with Chairman Gallison over tolls. It's one of the last big bills he ended up presiding over as chairman. Out of order, Representative Morgan. I am not. You are out of order. What? Be documents are missing. Microphone off? People of my district. Do you have paid a question on the subs today? Yes. And or I no? have a right to ask questions. Morgan reacted to his resignation today. I was angry. I was disgusted and honestly saddened for the people of Rhode Island. They deserve better government. And Speaker Mattiello has named Representative Marvin, Marvin Abney as Gallison's replacement as finance chairman. The committee is scheduled to meet tonight. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. And count on Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of this state house shakeup on air and online. And head over to WDPRI.com for in-depth reports from WDPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi. And be sure to follow him and Target 12 investigator Tim White on Twitter and Facebook.